Bought your groceries online recently? Today, I'm going to show you what goes on behind the scenes at the Red Mart Warehouse when you place an order with them online. Let's go! With over 90,000 products, walking through the Red Mart Warehouse in Jalan Buro is like walking through a giant supermarket. But unlike the typical grocery run, there's no need for trolleys or shopping baskets. Everything you want, be it frozen meat, toilet paper, xiao bai cai or avocados, can be ordered with the click of a button. So how do your groceries get to your doorstep? And how might an online grocery platform like Red Mart help to reduce food waste? Every day, close to 5,000 products arrive from various suppliers across the island at the Red Mart warehouse. The products are put in three different zones, frozen foods, fresh foods or dry goods. In our warehouse here, we, we designed it to hold the products at the, the most optimum temperature. So considering perishables, we have different temperature regimes for our fruit, our vegetables and our meat. Um, that, that enables us to hold at, at just the right quality, uh, the right temperature to maintain the quality through the life cycle. Within each zone, boxes are open to make sure the type and quantity of items are correct. From here, items forecast to be needed for that day are repacked into smaller quantities and moved to picking stations where customers' orders are put together. Other items which might be needed over the following few days are placed in their respective storage areas. Uh, we've got nine years worth of data for our customer patterns, their, their preferences, uh, the seasonality of particular products or particular categories across the course of the year. For, so for example, Christmas right now, we, we see a, we'll see an, a, an increase in root vegetables. So your Christmas tr traditional Christmas dinner is roasted vegetables, roasted parsnips, roasted carrots, potatoes. Moving into CNY, we'll see a lot of the, the Asian greens, black fungus, the more hot pot related products as well. So we've really got that level of data that we can share with our suppliers. When a customer's order comes in, it's divided into three separate baskets according to temperature zones. At each zone's picking station, staff put ordered items into the baskets. In the 2 degrees Celsius zone, for example, items such as butter, yogurt and milk will find their way into the basket. So our produce here in the warehouse is only touched by one person and that's the person that picks your order. If you consider that uh, in, a, in a store environment, you could have a number of people picking up your products, picking, choosing, squeezing and putting it back. So that enables us to make sure that there's no wastage on the shelf. Once the order is completed, the items will be packed in their respective zones and are sent to Red Mart's fulfillment centres in the northern, southern or eastern areas of Singapore. There, frozen foods, fresh foods and dry goods ordered by each customer will be compiled and delivered to their designated doorstep that same day. We don't have refrigerated trucks in Singapore, so we've developed um, uh, a technology here to keep the products at the, at the right temperature using a combination of thermal insulation and ice plates. That allows us to deliver our fresh products and our frozen products to the doorstep without any wastage. So on our website, we, we will promise a customer uh, the number of days that you can expect to hold that product at home uh, in, your, in your fridge or on your countertop. Obviously, unlike a typical supermarket, customers can't pick up produce in person. In this case, quality checks are conducted in the warehouse. For example, berries-wise, we'll look at it from the colour as well as if there's rotten and mouldy issues. So, for appearance-wise, this actually looks okay. And for like other items such as like avocado where there's different stages of ripening, right, we actually have like a colour chart. So this, from this colour chart, right, um, we are supposed to receive it at green. So this will ensure that it will ripen only at our customer's place. Other than like all these type of visual checks, we also have like analytical tests. And yeah, same as uh, strawberries, we'll also do a bricks test because uh, for berries, we are also concerned whether the fresh produce are sweet or not. Bricks test is actually uh, measured using a refractometer. Uh, it helps us to um, understand the sugar level. So if it's within our um, specification, it's actually good and sweet. If it's not, we will feedback it to our supplier and let them know like our um, berries are not sweet currently. Those uh, produce that does not meet our quality requirements, right? We will actually uh, send it back to our supplier's place. Yeah. So over here, right, we have some like rotten dragon fruits. Yeah. So this is what we have rejected today. Then other than this, for tomatoes, we have some over ripened ones. So these here are like quality issues that we will take it out so that our customers won't receive all these items. 
To reduce food waste, Red Mart works with social enterprise Ugly Food to resell produce that, while edible, might not look aesthetically pleasing. The grocery platform also works with local startup Crust Brewing to turn bread nearing its expiry date into beer. While regular supermarkets have to compile data from numerous stores, Red Mart concentrates on one warehouse. That enables us to be much more accurate, deliver the uh, maximum freshness and a level of data accuracy, which ultimately means less wastage uh, overall. 